Well, any and every game played here is pretty special. The cock is unique for its atmosphere, an atmosphere enhanced by this splendid new main stand. A warm welcome to you from Anfield. And our live game is Liverpool against Manchester. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Bravo sends that a long way. Played out to the wing. Mane looking to get on the end of this. Can he finish? Good stop. That wasn't easy. Gets up to head it. No, he didn't quite meet it right. And it's Aguero. About as smooth as it gets! Unbelievable. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. He's had a quick look inside. Now it's Aguero. To Bruyne. Now it's Sane. Massive leap! The world at his feet! Raheem Sterling! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Liverpool look as though they're about to make a change. Liverpool making two changes as we speak. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Going for goal! They've done it! And again they hit the front. Jim, your thoughts? Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. It's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Sterling. Out wide to the right. David Silva looking to shoot. In for the follow up. It's broken loose. He's tried one. Oh, superb from Gundawan. What remarkable powers of recovery. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Coutinho, towering header! with his head but couldn't steer it in Liverpool chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes if we're going to get a winner it's got to come now great leap and 
could fall kindly. And he's done it! And you can't but admire that from a player from whom we expect to come to the fore at crucial, crucial moments. Doing it, however, is another matter, and his influence just grows and grows. Bravo reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Liverpool take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Liverpool come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered.